Greetings, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. I am the Angry Rhino. Thank you for watching. In the spirit of the event store being up and free-to-play or close-to-free-to-play players finally getting the Mantis, I'm going to do two videos. I'm going to break it down into two videos, right? One, I'm going to tell you the crews to use, go through a run, maybe two, show you some of the nuances of how to do a run, some tricks I use to help me. And then in this, the second video would be like, well, now that I got all this junk from farming, what what the hell do I do with it, right? And maybe explain some of the other uses for the Mantis in PvP. So let's get right to it. Crews, as you can see on the screen here, five, Borgstone, I think he's four, and Marcus. I'll show you why I use Marcus when I get into the system. A couple other crews you could use. Uh, Gorkon for, you know, hole breaching. Curla, when, when you kill one, you get extra speed so your run will be faster. Something you could use. Or let's put him back up there. Let's go find regular stone. Five Borg stone and regular stone to heavily increase your cargo. And you can see the line below decks. Depending on where you're at with your other officers and how high their stats are and what your benchmark is for um, your uh, crew bonuses down here, uh, you can... I, I use her. I want more cargo. Excuse me. You don't have to use her. You can, you know, get more health below for more hull. So let's load up the rest of the gang here. See, uh, you have a max 6 of 11 and con. Great for stats below. And as you can see here, yep, I am that high of a player. I am maxed out. Okay, so let's send into a system. Yep, token. Entry fee, just like the Vidar, you get two a day. I usually like to do many runs at a time. Six, seven, in one sitting, really, right? So I don't have to do it every single day because it just kind of wears on you. And I'm going... At the end of this current run that I'm about to start, I will show you why I like to do more than one in a city. If the ship ever hurry up and get to the thing. See some other guy grinding in here. Now you'll notice there are three types of hostiles. Three. Let me put my fingers up so you can see them. You got rather regular Actian chrysalises. You got an Actian chrysalises with a little doodad next to it. And then you have the interceptor, the apexes. Now, take a look at the stats here. Why I use Marcus. You can see here higher accuracy. Not kind of like an interceptor, right? Lower dodge than shield deflection, right? Shield deflection is higher much like an explorer so why they made them interceptors i don't know but that's why i don't really like the strange new worlds team right you you horror it's like you're on an interceptor it's good against battleships and that's it you can use uh who is it or ortega good against battleships fighting explorers but that only helps you with the regular actians it doesn't help you with the Apex, so that's why I don't go with that crew. Now, these little symbols are exocomps. You see the little percentage sign that is crit chance boost. 100%, 100% crit chance boost. So we go, we hit that. The little one that's a triangle, that is crit damage boost. It's 30%. And you hear, see here this little 
I don't even know what to call it. Flame looking thing or whatever it is. That is double shots. The most important one is crit chance. It's the one that's going to help you the best. Then I would say double shots is the next best and crit damage is after that. So you go around, you boost your own ship with all the little exocomp dealios and then that's what allows you to hit high. Increase your crit chance is increasing your damage. Increasing your shots is also increasing your da heavy damage. Damage, 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 damage. Super damage. As you see here, I only have six, 6,000 from hitting three. Hit the apex, 18,000. Now, yes, I have the prime that gets me more, but as you can see there, I got 6,000 from hitting three of the regular guys and then another 12,000 for the apex. That's one of the strange little things, quirks that they put in here. It's not... I like that it's different, you know? It's not just go around, tap, hit this house, or hit another house, or hit another house, or hit, you know? It gets boring after a while. You're essentially... <clears throat> It's like a treasure hunt almost. You got to go in and find the right hostile. So there is more, uh, call it, interaction with your hostile grinding with, the, um, with the uh, with the mantis grind here, instead of you know just uh, you actually have to do a little search. It's kind of fun. Uh, if you go into your you saw the button I hit, the little manage button. Your exocomps, you see how they're all three up there. The little circle thing. How it's kind of slowly ticking away, slowly ticking away. There's a time limit to these. It's five minutes. Which is very important. And as I get down to it, to the end of my run, closer, I will show you. I... Prepare yourself. I'm probably going to edit at least half this run out. So plan on me fast forwarding right now. Did it work? Maybe. And welcome back. Yeah, oh, gotta love the internet. I'm sorry, not the internet, technology. Whatever it is. As you can see, I am here full cargo, and I still have hull left. Well, I'm not going to sit around here and kill a bunch of guys, you know, until I die. But what I am going to do, as you can see this guy, I am, I am, I am going to leave, but I'm going to hit this guy first. Cruel crit, crit, crit chance guy. Now, I move closer for the purposes of this video. Um, it's about a minute, 15 one round, uh, about a minute 15 for one trip. You can do it from territory. I think it takes me about a minute 45. Remember, five minutes on the exocomps. Why is that important? Because they don't go away until the time runs out. Not even docking, not even dying. Okay. And I, I'm not, I'm probably not going to show you the dying because I, my ships are kind of big. So I'm not. I don't die. Uh, yes, and we're waiting. Uh, you see here, I'll show you. I just hit the crit chance guy. We're not even half done yet, right? I'm almost home. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let's go. There were problems to start out with the Mantis. You know, this stupid stuck broken hostile bullshit thing. That happened. Took those assholes, what, like three, four months to figure some damn change out? And what they did was they added three apexes to each system. We were just running around with one, and it was frequently broken. So we're going to repair. And send back it. And I will show you. See, the exocomps are still up. 
which is why I like to do multiple runs in a city. When you go either to drop off cargo or to, or you die and you're back home. The next run, you start out with the exocomps and how do we even start fresh again? So if you, if you only do one, one run in a sitting, then you're always going to have to start up your exocomps again. Instead of being able to come in and start off with an exocomp pop. Tracking so far? And he's still not in system. I think I... Uh, sure. I'm going to stop the video here. Shouldn't need... Hopefully this doesn't need any more explanation. But if it does, comment below with a question and I will hopefully answer it. I'm kind of old. I don't know if I really get technology that well. But I try. Sorry. If it doesn't, if you don't get a response from me soon ish, like, subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll be notified when the next video drops where I explain what to do with all the other Mantis features. Shields up, Commanders.